The MCU is my favorite movie franchise of all time. And Phase 4 has had a number of highs and lows. I don't think none of these movies are necessarily bad movies, but all of them are just disappointing. So today I'm going to be ranking all of them in a tier list. Okay, let's start with WandaVision. I'm going to be doing these in release order, by the way. So I'm going to be putting WandaVision in A tier. I think this is a solid show. One of the more underrated shows, in my opinion. I like the sitcom vibes and the mystery tone. In terms of weekly suspense, this one is by far the best. I love the Wanda story, and the show is just super fun. The ma majority of the cast was awesome, and Agnetha was a pretty good villain. So the only reason why this movie isn't in, in S tier was because the finale was a little bit rushed and underwhelming. Shang-Chi is probably the most underrated project of this list. I'm actually going to put it in the S tier. I mean, I absolutely love this movie. The action and choreography of the fights are great. The visuals are stellar. The story is emotional and has heavy moments. The characters are actually great and funny. The Mandarin is one of my favorite villains in the MCU right now. This movie really shows the Chinese and martial arts culture, and I love it for that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to put Eternals in D tier. Um, there's still some good things about this movie. The visuals are great. There are some good moments and some good directing styles and some good characters, but there's just so much crammed into this movie and so much characters with, like, plot lines that everything is just jumbled up together and we can't have a coherent story and plot 
I I'm sorry. I, I was a little disappointed by this one. Hawkeye is a really good show. I think it's just as good as WandaVision Loki. And I actually don't know out of the three which one I like more. I think I'm going to put Hawkeye in between WandaVision and Loki. I think I like WandaVision a little bit more. But I, I don't know. They're all just so good. I like this show a lot. I love the sc small scale of the story. Clint and Kate Bishop have really good chemistry with each other. I like that Vincent D'Onofrio returned as Kingpin, obviously. There are great characters like Kate's mom, Yelena, and Echo. It's just a funny show. There's great jokes and gags, and the action is actually pretty good. I like the Christmas vibe of it, and the story has really good pacing. Overall, I think this show is just as good as Loki and WandaVision. Then we have Spider-Man No Way Home, obviously S-tier. The best project of the entire list. This movie is like a perfect masterpiece. It's the perfect Spider-Man movie. It's just... It's so good. I, I don't even know what to say. Obviously, you have Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and the villains returning, which was pretty fun. You get to explore the multiverse. And there's just a great story here about Tom Holland's Peter Parker and how he changes into Spider-Man and actually has his origin story. This movie is so fun, and it's probably... The best movie theater experience I have. I just can't believe how good of a movie this is. I thought Moon Knight was fine. I'm going to put it in B tier. I think it's better than What If. Wait, yeah. Um, Oscar Isaac has an amazing performance here. I like the first two episodes, the suspense. And I kind of like the Egyptian stuff. But the reason why it's not in A tier is because... Like in episode 3 and 4, it became like an Indiana Jones ripoff. And I thought the finale was a little bit rushed. But still, episode 5 was like one of the best episodes in like any Marvel show. Overall, I like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Um, yeah, I thought it was really fun. We get to explore the multiverse and... Sam Raimi has like a really cool directing style and we get to see that in this movie. Doctor Strange has a really good arc and I liked America Chavez and his her story. Of course, we you have the Illuminati sequence which was just awesome seeing the Fantastic 4, Captain Carter and like live action MCU. And the only reason why it isn't higher is because I thought the Wanda stuff wasn't as flushed out as it should have been. Like, I know she has, like, the dark hold, but I wanted to see more of the change between the end of WandaVision and the beginning of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But other than that, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I was pretty disappointed by Thor Love and Thunder. I'm going to put it in D tier. There's too much jokes in this movie, too much comedy, and I'm getting sick of the Taika Waititi shenanigans. We don't have time to breathe. It's just too short and too fast-paced in my opinion. I like the Jane and Thor stuff, and I also like gore, but we don't even see gore for like the majority of this the movie. So we don't see him as a real threat. And I don't know. This movie was really disappointing. And also, the Guardians were here for like the first 15 minutes. And then, boom, they're suddenly gone for the rest of the entire movie. So, I guess that's there. I was also really surprised that they didn't have a, a door and rocket interaction. Since, like, they were a really good duo in Infinity War. But... Yeah, I was really disappointed by it. Last, we have Miss Marvel. I'm going to put it in C tier. This show was pretty disappointing. So the show starts out strong. I like the coming of age story, the artistic style of the world, and their characters are fun to be around. 
But then suddenly in episode three, we're talking about people from a different dimension, and then we're suddenly in Pakistan and Red Dagger. In episode five, Kamala like travels to the past. This plot is just messy, and we don't get the same vibe and tone from the first two episodes. It was pretty disappointing to say the least. Okay, so I'm actually gonna move Falcon the Winter Soldier to C tier. I think it's not as good as Black Widow, What If, and Moon Knight, but I think it's still better than Miss Marvel. So this is my list of the Phase 4 MCU movies and TV shows as of right now. There's still She-Hulk, I Am Groot, and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever um, that are still coming, but still, this is my list right now. Uh, yeah, subscribe.